Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. It's Lyle Gator here from Hooked on Agri Guide Service and today I'm going to talk about choosing the right flasher based on the light conditions available. So there's a few different things that impact when I choose a flasher, what I'm going to reach into my box for and the main thing is how bright it is above me. So if it's a bright sunny day, if it's early in the morning or you know if I'm fishing midday. So the main thing that I'm looking for when I'm choosing a flasher and choosing what color flasher I'm going to use is I'm gonna look at how bright the sky is or what time of day it is. So if it's early in the morning and uh, cloudy, uh, if there's not a lot of light hitting the water, I'm gonna go with something that's glow or white. Um, you'll see on a lot of the different paddles, there's different colors. Uh, you have glow, you have some tapes, um, reflective tapes, UV tapes, and all of these are gonna be um, assets for you at different times of the day. So understanding when these are going to help you out the most to get more bites is the important part. So I'll go over quickly a few of my selections and what I really like to throw under what conditions. So guys, right here, I have a classic Saking Fisher, and uh, I think this one's called White Lightning. It's a white plastic with a glow strip and the, the big eye here. Um, but then on the other side, the other half of it, it's got this flash tape. And uh, I really like running this one early in the morning um, because of the glow. It has quite a bit of glow. Um, but it also has this, which, uh, you know, it's gonna reflect. You can see it even just on my face there in the light. It kicks off a lot of light. So this one really helps me early in the morning with the glow. It'll show up down deep. And also any available light that's in the water it will really kick it off. So I like this one under cloudy conditions or early in the morning. So now going off of the same principle, but under bright sunny skies, uh, this guy here, this is another Kingfisher. And as you can see, it's got the holographic shimmer and it has that on both sides. So it's gonna do the same thing. You can see it on my face, just kicking up the, the light. It moves a lot of light. So under bright skies, I don't need glow because there's enough light in the water that uh, I don't need to make my own light, I can use what's available. And this flasher here with, with two sides of that flashy material, I think really helps me achieve that. So that's something that I'm gonna be throwing if it's high sun, maybe you know anywhere from 10 until two, uh, middle of the day where you're, you're kind of in grind mode, but you're, you're using what's, uh, what's available and that's sunlight. So that's my choice there. So something else that I've been playing around with the last few years, and this is nothing new, um, but I've started to work it into my arsenal, is playing around with UV. And I'll show a picture of this guy up close, but that is a UV slick on one half and glow on the other. So I really like this paddle down deep, middle of the day. Um, I feel like I get really good light using the natural light with the UV slick. You can see it's very, very bright on my face, um, but also the glow. So I'm getting half of the presentation glowing really good down there and the other half that's kicking a lot of that light out. Same paddle here. This is the chartreuse plastic um, around the edge and I'll show that a little bit closer up, but same deal. It's got the UV slick and it's got the glow on the other half. This one here was a, a really good paddle for me last year, all year round. Um, in the spring and summer, I ran it down a little bit deeper, um, and then in the fall time, I actually used it in tight, and I found that I had really good success um, when I was when I was using that in tight. So that's something that you can play around with as well, mixing in your UV tapes uh, to your presentation. So in a nutshell, being able to tell what your conditions are and choosing the the flasher that you know gives you the most advantages in the water is is important and. If you have a situation where nothing's firing and uh, you know, you're kind of stuck, you can always go with something like this, which uh, can either have a glow tape on the front um, and then it has a lead back, that's called lead back. And that's just a flashy silver on the other half. So this thing's gonna do a bit of both. It's sort of like that first one that I showed you with the glow and the silver back. Um, so this is doing, it's glowing, it's uh, throwing light, it's doing both things for you. So that's pretty consistent. Um, if you don't really know what to throw, getting something that, that's sort of dual purpose like this um, is a really good option. Same within the fall time, you'll see a lot of guys just throwing white and that, that comes down to sort of a seasonal preference of the fish. Um, 
but you can never go wrong with, with white, um, especially with some dots. If you can get green dots or black dots, they make all kinds. There's definitely no shortage of, uh, of options out there for you if you're in the tackle store and looking. So guys, I hope you found these tips helpful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Other than that, i got a new podcast coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. with will be more details on giveaways and other exciting things. Guys, have a great day. Get outside and go.